This is a basic description for beginners of the anvil and the functions of its parts. When you think blacksmith, you think anvil. The anvil is your main tool alongside your fire and your hammer. You can get second hand ones reasonably cheap, though you should be careful of their condition as they become sway backed over the years and the edges will collapse in a manner similar to a chisel. If striking it with a hammer, the hammer should bounce off. This shows that the energy of your hammer blows is being transmitted to your work rather than dissipating into the anvil. In proper use will leave marks on the face of your anvil which will transmit to your work. You should avoid hammering the anvil with the heel, toe or peen of your hammer. You should equally avoid hitting it with a chisel or punch for the same reason. You can dull the ring on an anvil by wrapping chain around it or putting plaster seam beneath the base. The anvil should also be bolted to its base to prevent it from walking away as you work. The main use of the anvil is to be a flat surface from which to forge metal. An anvil should be flat, have a smooth face and clean edges. Flat is your main reference point for any shape. The flat area is known as the face. Around the face are the edges. These aren't just the beginning and end of your anvil but part of its usefulness. Part of your edge will be square and sharp and part of your edge will be radiused. You need both as you'll use the edges for techniques such as set downs. Coming off the face of the anvil is sometimes a step. This is called the cutting face, which is made of softer metal and is designed to be used for chiselling and punching, though not many smiths use it as such these days, with many preferring to have a separate soft plate instead. Forwards at the cutting plate is the bick or horn, or sometimes bick horn. This is used for bending, smoothing curves and drawing out stock quickly. Keep an eye on your work if you're using it for bending as the bick is tapered and will cant your work. Towards the back of the anvil you'll see a square hole. This is the hardy hole and is used to add tooling to your anvil. Things like bottom swages, bottom fullers, bending forks, jigs and everything in between. It is square to stop your tools from rotating. Sometimes you'll also see a round hole. This is the pritchel hole and can be used for tooling but is mainly used for punching the slug out of holes. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for new videos every week.